Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. It's time for us to lighten the mood and bring you some, some, you know, entertainment. This time around, we're looking at the movie scene from comedy to Nollywood. Nollywood has been doing amazingly well. And these two men are men that have charted their own path in the Nollywood scene. Now, we have with us one who's been here before, but years ago when we are still Good Morning Nigeria. And then October 1st had just dropped. His name is Demola Adedoin. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And yes. on his Im immediate left, we have Tosin Koka, who's the director of Lara and the Beats. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. you. OK, so you recently just dropped a movie, which is like the buzz of the moment. But before we go to the movie, let's talk about both of you and your careers. You've been doing a lot since October 1st. And how has it been for you, though? It's been fun. It's been very interesting. And I, your October 1st character was something that, you know, I, I think really announced you on a very major scale. What would you say has been your most challenging character since that one? Um, it would have to be Kingsley, which I did for Africa Magic's Jimmy G last year. It was like nine months of being the same character and he had a limp the whole time and it was just it was hard work other well, times you forgot to limp and they say no oh, take it again <laughs> no, no 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 when i mean i mean but it was just really annoying after a while i was oh, isn't this guy's leg good to <laughs> can i take this cast off <laughs> Oh, now, dear. I definitely want to know everything about the journey through Lara and the Beats, but we do have the trailer, so let's check it out so you can all take a look into one of the top movies in Nollywood right now. And when we come back, we'll be discussing, uh, discussing some more. And there you have it. Amazing. I really like how colorful it is. Yeah. Which I, it's a star-studded movie. So I should ask you, Tosin, were you involved in casting for the movie? Um, yeah, we... we yeah, I, did a little bit of that, but we had like casting director Lala Akindoju and uh, Tolu Lushaga, the producer. They did most of the casting, uh, but I did a little bit of casting there. So take us through the journey, though. What was it like working on Lara and the Beat? What inspired you? What kept you driven? Give us all the deets. Well, uh, Lara and the script, I think, uh, Lara and the Beat, I'm sorry. Lara and the Beat, what really got me was a script, like the initial uh, story uh, behind uh, the screenplay. I really saw something different. Like, what really drives us to do something is the story, usually. Um, so I, I saw the potential and what it could be, what it, uh, what it could do for the industry, the merger of music and, 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 and cinema. And I really wanted to be able to bring a kind of flavor that would be global, that have global appeal. So we're looking at, like, something along the veins of, like, a brown sugar, but in Nigeria. So it's not, you don't want to make it, oh, the Nigerian film, but you want to make it like a film that is shot in Nigeria but could tell the story of the, to the world of what we're going through. So I saw that opportunity and I said, let's just go forward and do it, you know? And also export our music to the world. And it had lots of celebrities in one space. Mm. One thing that is synonymous with celebrities, um, and that includes you as well, I don't know, we, some people expect that they're just natural divas. So how did you have to manage emotions of that number of celebrities in one space, in one movie at the same time? Well, um, a lot of the people that we worked with were really professional. I mean, they, are, they, are, they kept it professional most of the time. Uh, but I also had a great team to also help manage expectations and you know eruptions that do happen or disruptions also. Uh, we had I had an amazing team, you know the assistant director, you know the producer. They're all there to help, you know. So they help, you know, like diffuse situations when they do it. They, they did occur, but um, all in all, I mean, we didn't really have like people going over the top, you know. Mm. And Demala, what was the entire experience like from your point of view? Well, um, it was. As soon as I saw the story, I knew it was ambitious. And, you know, I was even afraid for you guys, like, reading it, like, how are you going to film this, you know, without spending the amount of money that will break the bank. Um, it was amazing because, I mean, all around, you just see creative people, some Kelly, all these musicians, Vector, Shea, Shea, really amazing people. And, um, of course, I love to watch the team, the technical team, how they shoot. They got amazing shots for this. Like, it looks the no different it, from a Hollywood film. It's like, it's really beautiful. And the story has a lot of life lessons, right? There's stuff about corruption, about what to do when you get in a rut, how to get out of it. Um, you know, we know the amount of young people we have that want to be musicians. And there's, you know, there's life lessons for them as well. You know, what they go through, what it takes to really make it. Well, give us an insight into what your character was about. What was his name? Mm. And Walila Dijobi. 
uh, he plays an entrepreneur. Let me just leave it at that. I, mean, I don't want to say too much because he does something really pivotal. And but I can tell it's you like that the first time you see him, he's about to be lynched by Okada guys. That's the introduction of wow. it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And what were, what were the difficulties? Were there, were there difficulties that came along with interpreting your role? Not really. Not really. So everything has been pretty smooth sailing then? Yes. So what has the response been like since Lara and the Beat hit the cinemas? Um, pretty much like uh, I tend to talk to people, you know, what they felt about it. And funny enough that people actually enjoy it. You know, I think, I think what happens is that people are kind of like skeptical at first to go into it. Um, like, oh, it's an Hollywood film, blah, blah, blah. But at least once they get in there, you know, I, uh, and they come out, it's like a different story. So it's been pretty positive from people. So I really appreciate that Nigeria actually embraced this movie, and I'm thankful to all of you. You, you just know, said you now people. that people are sometimes skeptical because they say, oh, it's an Hollywood movie. What would you say are some of the things that make them a bit skeptical of going to see some of our movies? Uh, I mean, you know, I didn't like my... <laughs> you know, help me out on this, but I mean, I, I, from what I got, because this is very recent to me, you know, um, are you based in Nigeria? No, I'm okay. based in Los Angeles, but uh, I do fly back and forth. I mean, for the past three years, I've been coming back and forth. Uh, uh, for, I guess maybe they expect that, you know, you have, a, as you said, you know, a great cast, and then the production value is very low, and then the story is not there, and then they feel, they feel disappointed to spend all that money, you know, invest all that money into the film uh, to have a great time, and then they get disappointed on that. So I think that's what they're... Their, their skepticism comes from, you know? But the entire vibe of the movie is very unique. It's got a lot of music in it. You, in, you incorporate so much into one script and the direction is pretty solid. But what would you say you saw as the greatest challenge in actually achieving what you did to get there? Well, um, there's this thing I heard on set a lot. They call this, this is Nigeria, P-I-N. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, it's more or less like, you know, you have situations where um, power, you know, logistical situations where uh, locations, uh, they, you know, like mm. they don't come through, like last minute they fall out, you know, and then you have to now make contingency plans. So my brain and producer's brain was always contingency, contingency, contingency. If we're shooting somewhere and say, oh, we can't shoot there, we just have to get somewhere in the next 30 minutes to go shoot. So mm. we're doing a lot of that. Uh, so we face things like that. But um, uh, all in all, I mean, it, it was... As I said, ambitious. Also, I think we should we could have pulled back a little bit, but also I'm glad that we did it because the challenge also helped us be you know better filmmakers as a whole. And what was it like working with um, Shay Shay and Vector as well? Oh, they're great. I, um, what I like, I like working <coughs> with my actors. I enjoy working with my actors and collaborating with my actors because you know when you look at acting or, or directing, you remember when you're kids and you're making make believe when you're pretending. You know, like, let's, you pretend that you're this bad guy and you start putting layers to your character. So what I do with Shay and Vector is more like we did character creation exercises. So we created those, they created those characters from within. You know, and, and that helps because without the experience, you're not acting with a capital A or bringing preconceived notions. It's like a blank slate and you can actually build off of that. All right. So, Dimal, I wanted to add something to what he was saying earlier about challenges. Just about mm -hmm. what you were saying about the audience yeah. and what makes it difficult for them to see Nigerian films. It's mostly a numbers game. The truth is, most Nigerian films aren't, you know, they don't put their best into it, right? Is it, um, it, is it stemming from <coughs> professionalism or insufficient budget? Because we've heard several arguments. It's a combination of okay. so many different things. I mean, you've even seen people who have pretty good budgets, who have made below average films. So people see those and then they leave with a bad taste in their minds or whatever and they don't want to see the next one. So it's always a hard sell. It's always trying to push the boulder uphill. But as more and more people like uh, Tosi come into the game and try and do better stuff to change the numbers, the How long did it take you to film Lara and the Bits? <coughs> we had 32 <coughs> shooting days. 32? So, okay, yeah, that's so impressive. That's opposed to the usual. I'm sure yeah. he can testify to this. It's usually one week. Yeah, it's just shorter. Uh, <laughs> Viola was generous. I mean, when we first spoke, she told me what she wanted. And uh, she was very generous with that. I think that as an executive producer, I really tip my hat off to her because she gave us the time and the, pretty much the logistical support that we needed to make this film the way we saw it together.
Okay. So now I, I'm, I'm interested in us looking into acting and directing the creative process. This is because there are many people who want to come into Nollywood. And there are many people who have stories in their head, many people who want to be directors, but there are certain fundamentals that they need to know. So on both your parts, as an actor, as, an, as a director, <coughs> as a director, what are the things you look out for <coughs> in, in an actor and how are you able to communicate to your actor, you know, how are you able to communicate the creation of a certain character? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think for me, the most important thing I, I want to see in my actor is that, first off, is he, is he able to make, take adjustments? And then second off, is that is he also able to ask questions? Not questions of, from me, but questions about the character. Because I think the best way to understand a character is to ask questions and then answer those questions. And then you look for the strongest possible choice in order to actually add to pad your character. So uh, those are the kind of things I look for in an actor. I'm not really about, oh, typecasting, or you look a certain way, you got to play a role. I mean, I, I want to be surprised. So I like to cast against type sometimes, too. You know, like, you know, you can have a big person be the lead if that person actually does take you on a journey based on the way the person portrays a character. So um, ask questions. Um, look for three possible ways. I think the laws of three possibles. And don't try and play a caricature of anything. Do the research. There's a lot of research in acting. You've got to do, do your homework. Mm -hmm. You can do from your own internal spot, which is from your family or whatever. Or go out there and start going in and find out, okay, well, how can I add to this character? How did Jack Nicholson do this part? Or, you know, that's what I think is important for an actor. All right, thank you very much. So lead us through your own process, delivering a script. It's funny how he's just said most of it. It starts with research. And for me, personally, I need to know the ways in which the character is different from me so that I can enforce that behavior and make the character more in more whoever he is. <coughs> um, it's mostly about trying to forget, forget yourself and create something new. So after research, um, it's basically a whole bunch of questions to the director. What do they want? It's all about the vision of the director. Unless they give you creative freedom and they say, you know what, go crazy, whatever you want, cook it up, let's see what you like. But I start with a whole bunch of questions to see if there's anything that they're already expecting. And if they give me freedom, I go crazy. Brilliant. These thieves, we hope that with these few words of theirs, they've been able to convince and not confuse you about the tenets of acting and directing in Nigeria. That just reminded me of my younger debating days. How can uh, this, this movie, Lara and the Beats, is it in all cinemas right now? And how long is it in the cinemas for? Any idea? Uh, yeah, Lara and the Beat is in cinemas right now. Um, it's playing nationwide, everywhere. Um, and we should be in cinemas for, I guess, as long as they keep us. But, you know, we're still I, I think it will also be um, governed by the amount of people. You know, yeah, the audience the response. response to yes. it. I think they've opened up some more slots for us based on, I guess, the response earlier this week. So um, it's looking very positive, And I hope that the momentum keeps on. Okay. I get tongue tied sometimes, momentum. but momentum <laughs> keeps on building um, on, 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 the, on the picture. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to see how Nigeria embraces this movie. All yeah. right, I'm going to see it next week myself, and then I will find out fingers and crossed. let you know what I think about My first it. First into Nigeria, fingers crossed. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. You plan to do more movies in Nigeria henceforth? Yeah. yeah. I have. I mean, I have a few scripts I'm looking at. I'm actually talking to a few people for collaborative uh, 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 projects. So yeah, I'm I'm excited about Nigeria and you know um, what it has to offer. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's see how this plays out. And we wish you all the best. You're very welcome. Thank you. Very Thank welcome. You so actually, we'd like you to come and do some more movies and partner with us. We'd like to see more faces. And how can we get, get up to find out what you're doing on social media? How can we follow you on social media? Um, Demola.adedoni. Very simple. You used to That's be Camillion right. before, right? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Chameleon. <laughs> Chameleon or something yeah. like that. Yeah. It's a nickname. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And um, how can we follow you? I'm at, um, at Tosi Coker Film. Okay. All right, we've had the director and the member of the cast of Lara and the Beat film showing currently in cinema. So go out, everybody. Go out with your friends. Go out with your lovers. Just go out and see a nice movie this weekend, something to help you relax. After Babake's show tonight, then you can go for the movies tomorrow. And just have a good time. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you very you. much. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.